What's up everybody, how's it going? This is Arnold from Arnold's iOS and today I have yet another four applications to review for you guys. So stick around, don't go anywhere, let's get started. Alright guys, like I mentioned, I have four applications for you guys. Uh, now let me get this phone open and show them to you guys. Uh, for starters, we have four, these four applications. It's Band of the Day, Camera Awesome, Voice Changer Plus, and Couch to 5K. So the first application is called Band of the Day. Now keep in mind that in the description below you're going to be able to see the prices and links to each one of these applications. Now the first one like I mentioned is called Band of the Day. As you can tell, I have a calendar in front of, you, in front of me and we're on December 19th today. If you're watching it today, then December 19th you're going to be able to see Dominico and uh, Dominico is an artist. He play, he uh, makes music and you're able to see his music on this specific day now every single day there's gonna be a different artist a different genre different types of music now if we go to the 20th of December this is coming tomorrow so if we switch to any day of the month you're gonna be able to see all these different artists now what can you do with this application well at the bottom you're gonna be able to see a little Twitter icon and a Facebook icon you can share uh, these artists now you can hit play but obviously I don't own any of their music so I'm not gonna hit play for you guys you guys can go download the app and play all their music all you want <laughs> and while you're playing their music there's that fast forward button so you can skip through their music now if I touch today's date for Dominico now I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, you're going to be able to see a quick description of it, a little bit of backstory, see the Twitter feed on it, some video clips, advertisements, where they're from, all their music available. Now if we're back at the home screen, there's going to be a little band of the day face. You tap that, you're able to get calendars, charts, mixtapes, uh, different bands that you visited, if you saved any in the archives, settings, and ratings. If you select their music and you select buy on one of the tracks, it takes you directly to the iTunes app. That way you can go ahead and purchase it there. You know, if it's something that you're interested, go ahead and download the application. Now the next application is called Camera Awesome. I really like this application because it has a lot of features that the standard camera feature doesn't have. For example, if we go at the top, uh, you're going to be able to see different modes that you can get uh, or different uh, stencils, so to speak, onto the camera. So you would get thirds. So if you want to take a photograph, you're able to see those, those features, those lines across. Like if you want to take something like that, you're able to see those lines like that. So it can be a, a little bit of a guide to when you're taking photographs. Now you also have this other one that's golden. You have tricycle. It's a pretty cool one if you're trying to take pictures like that. You're able to keep it nice and balanced, have the line going. And another feature, which is the last feature on this section, which I really like. Oh no, it's a square. But the one at the top right kind of gives you a little balance bar. And if you want to take a picture, you can balance it, make sure that everything is nice and balanced. And maybe for some landscape photographs and it kind of glows green. You can also have a feature to set that once it gets perfectly balanced, it'll take a photograph of it, of whatever you're looking at. Now we have effects. You get a ton of different effects. The only problem is that you're not able to see the effect directly on the camera. You only see the effect on the image itself. And also, once you take the photograph, the pictures don't go directly to your camera roll. They go onto the app's camera roll and you're able to see them on there. Uh, now if you go down here to some of the settings, you have image stabilization, big button which takes a picture with just by ta tapping the screen, slow burst, which takes a while to zoom in and focus and then it takes the picture. And you also have timer, which you can add time to it or not. Oh, we don't want 60 seconds. <laughs> we want one second. And also interval, which takes a photograph every five seconds or whatever time you decide. And it has some of the same features for the camera, for the video camera. So if it's something that you're interested, go ahead and download it. The third application is called Voice Changer Plus. It's kind of just a fun app you can mess around with your friends. But let's say, for example, if I'm going to record something. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Arnold from Arnold's iOS. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> just whatever. It doesn't matter. Hey, 
how's it going guys? It's Arnold from Arnold's iOS. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> so let's just trim that up just so it can be shorter. Uh, there you go. There's a bunch of different effects that you can add. For example, if you go to slow mouse. Or fast mouse. Or if we go even further to choir. So it's just a fun application to mess around with. You can also upgrade. This is a free version. Buy the upgrade for $1.99. And you're able to post links of your recordings right from the app using iMessage, Facebook, or Twitter. Save your recordings on the device. Send voice messages via email. Also create iPhone ringtones and install them using your computer. And I just read all that. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. And the last application is called Couch to 5K. Now, this is a good application. I really like it. I was actually using it, but uh, I kind of got lazy and stopped. But I'm going to start using it again because it's a good way to get some exercise done. Now, the point to this application is that there's nine weeks of exercise that you do either in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening, whatever you prefer. Now, you're going to be working out three times a week. And as you can tell at the top, it says, you know, see those little dots so it's gonna be three times a week let's say for example on the first day of the first week it says brisk five minute warm-up walk and you alternate one minute of jogging and one and a half minutes of walking for a total of 20 minutes each day it's gonna change now something interesting about the app is that when you do the workout and you finish it you're able to log your workouts so for example the first day how did you feel you able to select a little face put notes if you want also you can post your results either on Facebook or post to active trainer if you have an account with them and you can select a little map uh, icon and you can even post on Facebook the a picture of the map of the whole location that you ran there's also some events that active trainer has you can go to settings and there's a ton of different settings that you can mess with the application but that's essentially what the app is now, I really recommend it if you want to be able to run five kilometers within nine weeks it's a good way to start your exercise some people uh, they hesitate because they don't know where to begin well this application allows you to begin and allows you to start small start slow and just work your way up so those were the applications for today I really hope that you enjoyed them if you have any questions on these applications, please let me know in the just in the comment section down below. Or if you want a specific application to be reviewed, please email me. Anyway, this has been another edition of Arnold's iOS. Thanks for tuning in. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, rate, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye.